So back to what I was saying. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Frolix here, bringing you another GTA 5 online video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be telling you how you guys can open the back door of the Bomb Shuka the Cargo Bob, and the Titan in GTA 5 Online. Now, it's really, really awesome because you are able to actually drive cars into the back of them, put players in the back, and pretty much just fly around and have fun without having to damage the vehicle, having to get stars or anything, or having to shoot the door, hit it with a bat or anything like that. It's a really, really cool method. A couple of you guys may already know how to do this. If you don't, then this video is for you. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Just before we get into it, we greatly appreciate it if you guys do leave a like on it and get to share it with more people. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new and you want to see more awesome glitches and money glitches and just anything in GTA 5 in general. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video and without further ado, let's get it started. Okay, so first off, what you actually need is to have these vehicles as your personal vehicles. You don't need to have all of them. Whichever one you want to open the back door of, just have that as your personal vehicle. Now, in my personal opinion, I suggest the Titan just because that's the only one you're actually able to walk into the back of and fly um, and store vehicles and stuff like that into it. But anyways, this is how you do it. So you guys can see I have the Bomb Shooter right here as my own personal vehicle. What you want to do is just go ahead and go to the Vehicles tab in your interaction menu and just go to Vehicle Doors and just select Cargo Ramp. Now, it will actually open the back cargo ramp. The only bad part about the Bomb Shuka is, for some reason, Rockstar doesn't want you to walk into the back of it. So you can try to jump onto the back of it, you can try to drive onto it. No matter what, you're not gonna be able to actually get inside the back of it, which I think is really, really dumb. And we're gonna be testing it with a few other vehicles as well. We're gonna try it out with the Cargo Bob and the Titan as well. Now, you guys can see I'm trying to drive into the back and it literally just does not let me in. So what you wanna to do to actually do this is to just get the Titan or try out the Cargo Bob because those two vehicles, you're able to actually stand on the back ramp. Now there is one of them where you're actually able to walk inside and I'm gonna be showing you guys here and you're able to fly around, put people on the back and just do all that kind of fun stuff. The Titan is probably the best vehicle to use for this and it only costs $2 million so it really isn't that expensive anymore in this game. I remember before this used to be one of the most expensive vehicles to buy um, but now that is just definitely not the case. Anyways, it's the exact same method to do this and the reason why I suggest using the Titan over any other of these vehicles is just because you can actually walk inside the back of it. So if you go over to the Vehicles tab again and then you go to Vehicle Doors and you just select Cargo Ramp, you'll notice that it does open up normally and you guys can actually just jump on it and run inside the back. Now you're not actually able to sit down on the seats. The only way you can actually do this is if you have two people flying the plane and then you decide to go and walk into the back of it because you are able to actually have more people in it. It's just they'll be in the cargo hold, which is why there are seats here. So if you guys do want to close it, you can actually close it as well just by clicking vehicle doors and then none and the cargo ramp will close by itself and you're able to go and fly around and just have you in the back of the cargo plane. The only bad part about it is, since you're just standing here and you're flying in the air, you will actually go into ragdoll mode and you'll fly around and sometimes you might get teleported out. That's why the best chance of you actually surviving and staying in the plane is having a vehicle like a motorcycle because it does fit the best in here. Now you can also use cars of course, it's just going to sit on top of the benches, but it is still pretty cool if someone opens the back door while you're flying and then you drive out fast and furious style, especially with the Ruiner 2000. So to do it with the Cargo Bob, it's actually the exact same method, and I just realized that you're able to walk inside the back of the Cargo Bob as well. Now, this is honestly really cool. You haven't really been able to do this ever in GTA, but you're able now to walk inside the back of the Cargo Bob and not just stand on the back. So if you guys can see this, you guys can just walk inside just like the same method and you can actually go completely inside the back of the Cargo Bob. You can walk around in here and you can just chill. Best part is you can't actually get out from here. So if you guys are standing in here, you can chill in here and you can use all of your guns. One pretty cool thing is if you're standing right here, you can completely just snipe out of the helicopter, especially if they're just hovering there. You can actually move around and take cover and shoot RPGs and all that kind of fun stuff. You can also put motorcycles into the back of here and very small vehicles. <clears throat> and if you guys did want to go ahead and close the back door, all you have to do is just select none on vehicle doors and the door does close. Now I'm not 100% sure if you will go into ragdoll mode once it does take off, but I do think it's pretty cool that you're able to completely stand in the back of these vehicles and be able to walk around. Now some of you may actually be able to get inside of the bomb shuka, maybe it was just a glitch for me, but I was able to get into the back of the Cargo Bob and the Titan, maybe just because they're old vehicles and Rockstar actually didn't add a patch to them where you can walk inside the back. But it is pretty cool. 
and I definitely hope you guys did go on to enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to smash a massive thumbs up on it because I do think it is pretty cool and a lot of people probably look forward to this. Just being able to go into the game, being able to go inside the back of these vehicles, I remember that used to be the hype back in the day and now that you're able to actually go inside and walk around in the back of them, which is what we've all wanted for the longest time and you can actually do that now, just makes the game a small bit more fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, like I said, be sure to smash a like and subscribe if you are new if you want to see more awesome videos just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.